Live from Appleton, it's APTV. Welcome to APTV episode 528 for Thursday, February 8th, 2024. This week we have news, banter, updates, a journaling workshop that's coming up, a new lapis lazuli ink, a spotlight on sailor Manyo pens, Penlux masterpieces, calligraphy books, a contest winner, a new contest, plus items coming soon that we can't talk about. I have no idea what those are. Yes, you do. Do we? Uh, hey, Lisa. Hey, Brian. You know, I had I had uh, two dogs when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, it was, we never had cats. It was the weirdest thing. We had, now I'm a cat person. We used to have dogs when I was a kid. Okay. And um, I used to have this problem. Uh, <laughs> my dog... <laughs> Uh, he used to chase people on bikes a lot. Okay. Yeah, it got so bad we had to take his bike away. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not only did you get a smirk, you actually got a laugh from got, Justin. That's it like a, a grimace. Good one. It was like a wow. grimace. <laughs> Tomorrow, Friday, February 9th, is. National Pizza Ooh. Day. I got an idea for this. Okay. I got an idea for and this. And then we're supposed to talk about our favorite pizza spots. So when the <clears> kids <throat> and I moved up to Appleton in, in uh, June of 2009, Brian was raving about this really cool kind of weird place that did macaroni and cheese pizza. Oh, yeah, pizza. yeah, yeah, sells. And sells, so yeah. at some point, the kids and I... With Brian, went to Sal's Pizza on did College Ave. Did we actually all go together? I don't remember. We did. All okay. four of us go together. And we got assorted. You could get it by the slice or you could get, you know, a whole pizza. We all got individual slices. Um, apparently, they do the mac and cheese pizza, like, on the weekends. It's like Friday, Saturday nights. Um, yeah. For the people who were out at all the bars, um, which I guess makes sense. But the one thing I remember was they had these rolls. The rolls are the I best. Have I have a carb problem. I, I yes, like carbs, and I like easy. each other very much. Um, but they had these rolls, that had like garlic butter or something. They mm -hmm, were mm -hmm. amazing. <laughs> yeah, sells pizza. That's. I don't think we've been. We haven't been back. there since. No. Um, no. Home Run was good, but then they closed, which is just down the street. Right? Actually, down the street from us. Uh, we actually are big fans of Thin Crust. Thin Crust, yeah. So hard we to find. But. We found one that did a cauliflower crust on the other side of town, but. I got to tell you, we never went back. It was really, no, really expensive. Really expensive yeah. It wasn't any better than the frozen stuff from the grocery store. It was super expensive, but um, we are big fans of pizza. Right, anyway, February 9th, National Pizza Day. Saturday, February 10th is Chinese New Year. Happy New Year. And 2024 is the year of the dragon. Cool. Great. Tuesday, February 12th is Mardi Gras. Uh, also called Shrove Tuesday Fat or Tuesday. Fat Tuesday. In Catholicism, it is the last night to eat rich, fatty foods before fasting for Lent. And then next Wednesday, February 14th, is, of course, really? Valentine's Day. Yeah, you better get on that. Uh, but it's also <laughs> Ash Wednesday. So <laughs> You know what I'm reminded of by this? Next week is Wednesday. It's halfway through the month. How's yeah. your Inko Rama doing? <laughs> But as well as How's mine, yours? mine is doing awful, wow, that awful. Wow, No, I'm not just saying. I just reminded that, you know. First you tell me, wow, you look bad well, last you, night. <laughs> she was, was sick. sick. She looked awful. Just <laughs> trying to be supportive. Anyway. So let's talk journaling. Um, the Appleton Pen Club is going to host a, well, I'm just going to skip right yeah, over you, you just, um, yeah. is uh, hosting a journaling workshop on March 2nd from 2 to 4. That is a Saturday. We're going to close the store at 2 like normal, and then we will be open for the journaling class. Uh, Lindsay will be teaching that. The cost is $35. And what you get is a journaling bundle. You get a notebook, a fountain pen, a pouch, and a whole bunch of other supplies. You're going to go home with a bunch of washi tape, some stickers, um, else bookmark clips, paper, all sorts of stuff. We've got a whole box of stuff. Um, and so you're going to go over several different types of journaling. Um, Lindsay's got a whole thing ready. Uh, so we're very excited about that. Um, the SKU is up online. We are holding the seats to 10 people. So if you're interested, I would sign up sooner than later. Um, you can show up, but I don't know how many just you know, yeah. on Saturday. But um, we do recommend that you sign up in advance. 
Uh, other news, we've got some light term coming this week, I guess. Yes, including the, the, uh, uh, the pen loops that I just have a thing loops. for. Yeah, I like pen loops. Also the XL, XL which is the, the bigger ones. Uh, and for uh, the local folks that clean us out all the time, uh, A4 Plus. Yes. Um, the, it's, it's master. It's, it's massive. It's, it's huge. It looks like it should be. That's intimidating. It, I, I couldn't use it. I couldn't use it. Um, but they're so popular, we never have them. But uh, we're getting some more of those. A uh, new video up on YouTube this week. Uh, how Ryan to was very excited about yes, this. Yes, this, this, this was fun. Uh, how to use Dr. G's not deoxidizer, not just deoxidizer and pen rejuvenator. Um, we take some hard rubber pens, throw them in the solution. Uh, we do a little time lapse to clean them up and uh, fix them up and they look great. So Awesome. Um, yeah, it was, Really, really good stuff. It's, it's really it's amazing. amazing product. You know. And it's such a better upgrade from the products that were out there before and maybe it's just a matter of chemistry yeah. it's a matter of whatever i mean some of them were, were like like these I, I hate to i hate to even just even, even mention it but there were these chintzy little paint on kind of like a I, dye I got them that, and, it, and you just couldn't get it because you could see the brush strokes yeah. and they were awful this is really amazing this is just you drop it in and literally we waited 15 minutes and i was not expecting uh good results because the day before i had put uh, the s similar pieces into the solution to okay. prepare them. I had them in for uh, about six hours that day. Okay. Uh, and I accidentally left one piece in the solution overnight. So it was in for over 24 hours. Um, when these these parts came out in 15 minutes, they were, I, you couldn't. Ready to go. They were ready to go. You can't, you can't tell I didn't have them in there for Great. a day. Really so we stuff, are so. thrilled to have this. And um, I know we had an order uh, this morning a friend just bought yep. some. So yep. if you have vintage hard rubber pens and they are the, the weird green brown color, you definitely want to try this. Yeah. So if you have any questions about it, definitely uh, reach out. Um, you know, a couple things, you know, you primarily we look at uh, eyedroppers or things that don't have any metal right. internal parts, lever fillers and things, but you can use it. It just depends. So um, eyedroppers are best because there's no, no parts. Nothing to mess with. Nothing to mess with. But no. definitely watch the video. Yeah, it's great. Uh, and then this. This is this, this is new. Um, well, not really. Well, yeah. Uh, so a long time ago, there was this company in Italy called Delta. That eventually went eventually out. Eventually went out of business. Yeah, yeah. And then in uh, 2021, uh, Myora uh, bought up the the rest of the stock, of course, and Delta's now back in business. Well, uh, a number of years ago, we had this, this is a Dolce Vita oversize. This is the original. This is the real deal. Not what they call the original now. This is this is an original Actual Delta. Actual Delta. Uh, from 14 karat nib. It's not a Yovo nib. It's an in-house Delta nib. Um, we had this in the store, and one day uh, it it tipped over uh, from its display case, and the feed broke. Which is weird. Which is very, very weird. It cracked in half. It must have been defective when it was made or something, because it literally just, it, it didn't scratch the pen, nothing. The pen is brand new. And the feed just snapped in half. And so then promptly after that, Delta went out of business. And I've been hounding uh, Yaffa for years now uh, to get me a feed for this pen. And now we are back. We just got one in this week. We've got a new feed in here. Um, this is new old stock, original box. It's massive. It's it got, the, got the glass, the plexiglass with oh, the two little screws on it that, that they used to so have. That is so cool. A little um, overkill. I mean, they definitely well, did the whole, I mean, for that yeah, kind of a pen. It's an oversize, yeah. It's, it's, you you it's need the lot. whole presentation, yeah, but yeah. I always thought it was kind of funny to, to have the, the, the lid screw mm -hmm, down on mm -hmm. it. Um, uh, and it comes it, with a bottle of ink, too. Yes. If you're interested. Please, uh, please inquire. It's not up on the website yet, but if you uh, want to give us a call or stop in, uh, it is available. Uh, it'll be available this afternoon. Not for you. Uh, not, not for you me. Have one. You have and one. And this is the cartridge converter. This is the cartridge converter, oversized. Comes with the converter, of course. It's a threaded converter. A um, lot of threads on the barrel. A lot of threads on the barrel. That's a lot. But I always like these these threaded threaded converters. Because you know it's Delta. not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a great pen. If you ever wanted an original Delta... Dolce Vita. That's the real deal. Oversize. Oversize. So that is available. Great. I know you were so excited when we saw that we were getting that feed. I, Giddy I, like a schoolboy. I, I would ask him like every nine months. Like, hey, what's up with hey, that feed? Hey, what's up? Yeah. One just showed up. So That's great. What's a pony with a cough? A little horse.
Um, just in the Graf von Faber Castell, the Lapis Lazuli ink, of course, you know, it comes in that kick-ass um, Graf bo bottle that I just love. Um, but this is a really pretty blue. We have a swab. A little brighter than I thought. A little it was brighter. Gonna, I thought uh, it, it might be, be a little darker, yeah, but this yeah. is a great shade of blue. So if you need a bright, happy blue for spring, this is awesome. And did I mention this bottle is just to die for? Yeah, it's a nice bottle. Now I don't know if this is this a regular edition. Yes. This because this came out with their annual Graf. Uh, pen of the year. Yes. Uh, there I, was a set, I think, that it came I out I do with. believe that this is supposed to be an ongoing thing, just like the Yozakora came out a okay. couple years ago. Okay. Um, and it's such a gorgeous color, they'd be silly not yeah. to continue it. Water resistant, UV resistant, and resistant to, re resistant to certain chemicals and solvents. I wonder what those might be. They never tell they us. Never they don't. just, you know, give us this semi water resistant, but semi. 75 mils. It's a nice. Yeah. It's, it'll, it'll be a solid workhorse blue. Love I think that's what that's going to be. Can February, March? No, but April, May. Um, spotlight this week on Sailor Mono 2 Special Edition Fountain Pen Sets. I brought a bunch of these out, and apparently I have some of the, the, the original ones, too. The um, first edition. If you followed us for any length of time, you know that I am a huge fan of Sailor Pro Gear Slims. It's the perfect, for me, the perfect size. But... These sets are great because they come with a coordinating bottle of ink, mm -hmm. which is really great. It's a fun color. Yeah. Like this is the Wisteria, which is a soft magenta. Okay. Okay. Got that one. Uh, this one is not shy. This is grass. I wonder, wonder why they named that grass. It's bright green. Bright green with uh, kind of an aqua barrel. It's, it's nice. It's, yeah. it's not too bad. I, I like the, the barrel. is nice. Uh, what's next? Iris is pink Iris. and purple. Rabbit ear is what they say. And that's got the purple barrel. Yeah, very pretty. The purple on the top. You know, I, I have shared in the past, I'm not a huge fan of like two-tone things, the mix and match kind of thing. But some of these are really a great this color is, combination. This is nice. I like this. That's this is my pretty. favorite, I think. The mo this is called moss. It's light blue and white. I wonder why is it's moss. White? There's no white on here. Well. No. It's kind of a smoke. It says moss. It comes yeah. with a, a, a coquet, dual shade shading manual. Yeah, Very pretty. smoke. Yeah. yeah really nice. a nice presentation. Comes in a beautiful box. Just makes well, a great I, whole set. These, here. these are original manual, the first edition. That, I got a I couple love of these. That. This, one's a, this one's a great color. The plum. Yeah. It's a solid instead of a transparent. But then the end caps are transparent. See, for me, I like the solid because clear pens just activate my need to just constantly keep the converter filled and this one is really pretty too. this is the dianthus so love that purple the purple so a really great set we do still have several of these um you know for a while sailor came out with so many more 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 um kits and sets so fast that i think people may have just gotten um May have forgotten about some of these, so we just yes. wanted to remind you that there are still nice. some older ones that are really That's a, nice a color. great combination. Very nice. All right, uh, next up. Uh, you love these. Penlux, I do I do like these. Uh, the Penlux Masterpiece Grande, uh, and these come in a, what do we, how many do we have? Three, the, four, six, seven, eight, nine. They're almost 20 different colors at yeah. this point. We got 16 in the regular, uh, and then, then there are four in the Delgado. There are actually a couple more. There's a couple more, yeah. yeah. So, so, Close to 20 different options here. Um, these are piston only. So they only use bottled ink. And, oversized. Yes, definitely oversized. Um, big, big size in the hand. Um, it's an acrylic resin, but it's it's not super light. I think that the inclusion of that piston filling that, system. Uh, that piston really puts adds your, a little your, bit of weight it really, to it. Is a nice, um, uh, gorgeous, right gorgeous colors. Um, they come with a steel Yovo nib. You can do a special order for a 14 or an 18 karat gold. We do not stock those. Um, I think except maybe the snowflake. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we don't stock the gold. We do only stock the steel. We can order it for you. But they come with either the silver trim or the gold trim. 
Lots this of one's different got, this color one's got options. frosted gold, uh, frosted yeah. silver trim. So just a ton of options. Um, I know you like the koi. Number six, the koi, the blue koi. Yeah, I like yeah. the blue. Yeah. So just, uh, you know, a dozen and a half options. And if you like a bigger pen with a piston, this has a very generous capacity. Yeah, so. yeah. And this is this is king of pen size. This is one forty nine size. A um, little, bit, a little bit, a little bit smaller than the oversized Dolce Vita, but it's it's in the right in the right ballpark. It's a big pen. Yeah, the Dolce Vita oversize is massive. Yeah. But. Uh, so anyway, just uh, we're trying to remind all of you about certain things that are always in stock, and you know it's really easy to get caught up in FOMO with all the new things. But there's a reason that certain things are just classics and hang out forever. Speaking of calligraphy, um, one of the companies that we deal with uh, provides us with uh, calligraphy books that are really great. Um, Ziller, there are five different volumes. This these one, are super cheap. This is yes. like, uh, almost stupid how cheap this is. Five fifty. Five fifty. Yeah, I mean, if so ten, this uh, is eleven bucks. You might, you know, bird and. Design flourishing. So if you ever wanted to do, I mean, look at that. They'll teach that's you how to do what, that. The fifth, that's the fifth book. That's the last for um, Yeah, they got put in the wrong order. Um, engrossing <laughs> alphabets. In the wrong order. There's well, five it started with There's five. five of them. Five was on the top. All right. um, card writing, which is cool. And these are, these are these reprints, are, though, yes. of original um, 1946 printing. But it tells you where to put, like this is card writing, it tells you where to address things, the traditional way Different of styles and um, things. Yeah. How, to, how to address it, how to lay it out, really, really kind of cool. Um, artistic writing, so it's definitely flexible nib, flexible kind of nib is very pretty. And then this one, I keep looking at every time I'm in the front of the store, business writing, which is Essentially your cursive. basic, cursive. very, um, I don't want to call it plain, but very standard um, cursive. Reminds me of, you know, what we all learned in school. Well, if, if you can't do, if you can't handle basic cursive, that's where everybody should start. Yes, Because if you can't, if you can't do that, uh, doing this kind of writing... Spencerian, anything like that, yeah, I'm, is is is, is not you, you can't you know you got to walk before you can run. But it talks about um, movement, speed, touch, form. I mean, it really slant. It goes through everything. But you know, this is to me what I learned in grade school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So these are really great books. Not expensive. These are all, I believe, five fifty. Yep. You know, and, 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 and they're small. Yes. You can tuck these in your bag if you want to, you know, you want to go to the coffee shop and you want to... Um, I want to do that soon. Go to the coffee shop and practice your handwriting. You know, you can throw it in your bag. It's not something huge. It's not right. this, you know... And there are um, a bunch of different lessons in each book. So consider these while you are um, stuck at home in the winter or you are working on Inco Rimo, which is an epic failure for us, <laughs> as usual. Well, see, I didn't... I, I, I went out and said... I, I'm probably not going to do it. Right. I'm pretty sure I said that. I think I just said I'm not. I, Although I, there's still time, to, you know. It's what is it? Today is the, oh, the Bible. I don't know what yeah. day it is, but um, there's still time. Now was it last year? Two years ago, when I was in Chicago, you did write to me. Yeah, last year. It was the most annoying thing on the planet because you sent me these postcards with one letter that he would draw. I at, yeah, and then you decorate it. But, but at the end, of the, end of the month, I was really getting tired of decorating these stupid letters. And he would just send one a day, but they were not in order. Nope. And they didn't arrive in order. Nope. And then I was supposed to assemble them yep. and figure out what they said, only not all of them actually arrived. So it was... They all got there. But not in time <clears throat> to figure out. It was really annoying. It was sweet <laughs> and thoughtful and thank you, but annoying as anything. Um so I'm just not doing Inco Rimo this year. Uh, we had a contest on last APTV. Speaking of controversial topics. Controversial topics. Will, will you, you admit to using a ballpoint or a rollerball? Here's my 
this is my my Levenger daily carry. Okay. And what do you have in there? Uh, and this is what I I, carry, I have my this is the one that I, I probably shouldn't show. Uh, the retro. The secret retro. The secret retro. George is going to kill you. Uh, and then my uh, Dupont. Yep. Defeat. So I always have two two ball points with me, and then I'll fill the other two slots up with with the fountain pen. See now, I always slide an extra one in there, so I have five. Well, I figure that's what ball points are for. Yep. So, um, so will you? Admit to occasionally using a ballpoint or a rollerball. Notes from past Amy says, I use a ballpoint when I write carbon copy receipts for work and hate every moment of it. Good for you. The pressure required for that activity hurts my hand, which is why I fell in love with fountain pens the first time I used them. Now I have beautiful pens and glitter inks. There is no going back. Uh, Steve Moss says, I do keep a ballpoint with my checkbook, but it's a skinny mo block, so I can still feel fancy. Yeah. You Good know, for you, I, Steve. I, I feel you on that. <laughs> Hugs to Sherry. <laughs> Kath Collins Stern says, I have a Parker Jotter in my purse to use with a small monthly calendar that is not fountain pen friendly. Yes, sometimes it's the paper. Uh, Maggie 52, I write my grocery list in ballpoint after writing it out with my fountain pen and taking it out one rainy day in the rain on my hands and coat ran all over my list and it was a giant ink blob. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. Uh, you can only make that mistake once and then... You learn, yeah. You learn, yeah. Uh, Edward Stott says, at this time in my life, I really have no need for a pen other than a fountain pen. Good for you. But I have used them in the past. I did get a Pilot Acro ballpoint for Christmas. I do love those. Oh, yeah. we talked, didn't we talk about those last we week? We did. Greg Cooper, the only time I use a ballpoint is the rare occasion when I come in from outdoors and need to write something before I take my pens out of my work bag. I will not use a ballpoint unless I absolutely have to. Fountain pens are just superior. Well, we're not arguing that. Yep. Timothy May says, I use a ballpoint with a sour face, hand cramping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. Wow. And a lot of hand sanitizer afterward, followed by going to confession for my sins. Wow, Timothy. Um, and I'm not even Catholic, but only when I have to. But I do keep one in my briefcase for emergency uses only, or if someone else needs yes. a pen. Yeah. Absolutely. And that it. is a great point. Um, sometimes people want to borrow a pen, and you don't always want to um, lend them your fountain pen. No, no. Uh, Karen Webster, I carry a Parker IM gunmetal gray ballpoint on my lanyard at work. I have an orange Conklin ballpoint I keep with my checkbook. A couple of Retro 51 rollerballs I use by the phone, and the extra fine gel pen from Hobonichi in my Bible. Okay, so, so Karen is well, owning it. She's, she's well stocked. She's got it covered. And the winner is Eric Zveen. His comment is, hello, Anderson Pen's crew. I have a vintage Schaefer ballpoint desk pen. Oh, yeah. Cool. Nice. That I use weekly. I'm a bit worried about fountain pen inks in certain situations, such as writing checks and addressing envelopes. Good point. Uh, but it's fun using it anyway, and it's a really smooth writer. Thank you for giving us something to look forward to each week on YouTube, Eric and Deborah. Thank you. Um, Eric, write to Eric at AndersonPens.com, and he will hook you up with uh, $20 on your store account. We have a new contest. We do. A new survey. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. We are, now <laughs> we are now in the second month of the year. How are you doing with your planner and or journaling goals? One commenter will be chosen at random to win $20 credit on his or her Anderson Pins account. Okay. Um, do you want to talk about this? Uh, we're struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just going to put it on your side of the bed. Um, well, you, you should. We you are, just do that. We are sharing a five-year journal, uh, a Hobonichi five-year planner. I took a week off. We took about two weeks off. We did not take two weeks off. It was I filled in. I filled weeks. in a few days. Okay. Well, I'll go back. Um our plan initially was to do it every night um, before bed, and uh, sometimes we're just really tired or just don't. I, I was thinking about doing it in the morning for with coffee. Oh, that's a good idea. Because we are, just leave it there. Because sometimes we're not always together at the same place at the same time, so that yeah. would be a good thing. Yeah. So that, that might um, be a new And how anyway. about your planner? What about my planner? <laughs> how, how's it's, it going? It's day free, baby. <laughs> 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 I've been. I've been using it. I just been. I'm using it as I intended, and it's just kind of like a, a list that I can take with me of things that I want to. I want to uh, complete okay. tasks, um, and that's really what I'm using it for. Okay, yeah. I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm at about two thirds of the time. I'm using my planner. Time. Okay, so so you missed a week. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, well, so how are soon. you all doing? <laughs> yeah, how are you guys doing? 
coming soon. Coming there is soon. a release of several new things that we can't talk about. Um, interesting. I'm I'm excited. Yeah, uh, you didn't even actually even get to see the the samples, did you? No. No, you didn't see the samples. No. Okay. Um, no, that's. Uh, I'm excited. This is this is going to be the first time something like this has happened in from this brand four or five years. Yes. Yes. Four or five years. So we're we're excited about this. Yes. It's going to be cool. It's going to be different, um, and that's all that we can say. And we are allowed to talk about it on the twelfth. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Tune in next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Check us out on social media as Anderson Pens and like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we should say, um, yes, we should. For fun, go back and check out some of the really older videos. Oh I was looking at a couple of those the other day, and um, as much as I cringe about um, hairstyles and the different headsets and all that, um, if you have only recently found us, go back to the beginning. We do have a lot of um, interviews in the early days and um, talked about some interesting things, pen shows and all sorts of stuff. A lot of pen show talk. Yeah. Anyway. All right. We'll see you next it. time. Bye.